special guest here with us in Sacramento and our first pilot. I want to get into the fun stuff now. We have our very own mayor of Sacramento, Daryl Steinberg. Excited to introduce introduce him. Thank you Thank for you having for... me. Great to be part of the debut show. Yeah, we're yeah. here. Yeah. Sac uh -huh. right on. Golf club. Should we golf club? Should we golf club? Yeah. Come on. Golf club. Well, I want to point gonna, out, we're gonna, we're mayor. Is a set like this? Come on, this is great. We're Table? In, <laughs> this show is all about California yes. and the impact we have on the rest of the nation. But what's exciting <laughs> is we're here in your backyard because yes, we believe are. in Sacramento. So what's your favorite thing in the direction we're going? And I've heard you speak at all these different rallies and I love your energy. Give me really quickly your favorite thing about the direction you're seeing this this wonderful city going. I'm passionate about this city because it it has the best of great tradition, wonderful neighborhoods, but it is a city that is redefining itself every single day. We're trying to become a, a, a center of high wage industry, clean industry, technology, innovation, the food scene, the millennial generations mo us. moving Don't here and us. us. <laughs> Modern media, Sacramento is on the map, but it's more than just getting on the map. Right. It's a matter of continuing this great renaissance, but making sure it's connected to people who have been left out for a long time. And that's always my politics, right? I think you can have growth and we have to have growth. That The slow growth era is over. We want more in Sacramento. I just want to make sure it extends to all the neighborhoods and all the people, especially those who have been left out for a long time. We can be everything in this city. And yeah. uh, I, I just couldn't be, you know, when I was pro tem over there in that, that beautiful Actually, building Actually, I was going right to ask there. you about that. You, yes. went, you were our senator, you were pro tem, you were there many years, and Did now you're things. the mayor of this wonderful city. Yes. Is this a promotion or a demotion in your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I actually talked about that in my swearing-in speech. People ask me, why would you go from president of the Senate to mayor of Sacramento? And I said, without missing a beat, because I was looking for a promotion. Now, I said that, you know, it's a joke, of course, but I kind of meant it because it's the way I feel about my city. Um, this city has so much heart. It's got so much history. It's inclusive. It, it, it is proud of its diversity. It's also easy to get engaged. And yet we're growing a cosmopolitan city. It's the Golden One Center. We're going to have Major League Soccer. Arts and culture are booming. But we also have a heart for all the people who, who need help as well. And so uh, it's a great time to be mayor. Uh, you know, over there I had to deal with 40 plus billion dollars of budget deficits. Now I get to be mayor during a period when uh, and invited to a show like this. I mean, come on. <laughs> I never would have come gotten on. invited. <laughs> I'm the senator. I mean, you, you know. know. And on that note, you know, I love yeah. your energy. Thank you for being here. I want to touch on a couple of fun things. And yes. I know you haven't really been given I, I'm not any much background. Fun, but that's oh okay. no, no, no. Yeah. I, We're I hear, change that. I hear otherwise uh, yes, because I am you. sitting next to a few folks who know you actually pretty well. One next to me went to law school with you. We went to law school yeah. together. Yeah. We were roommates for a while. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, in the second season, I'll tell the story. Okay. So. Well, well here, here, here's, here's the thing, though, Mayor. I have to tell you, it didn't take much for me to get information out of him on you. Oh, it's not so, true. So, <laughs> whatever it is. I would not hedge my bets on that. But anyway, so let's get right into it. Okay. We got this segment called Fact or Fiction. Okay. And one of the fun things I want to do is get to know our mayor on a personal level. I want our viewers to know who is the mayor of Sacramento at the end of the day and what is he about. So, that being said, again, your friends here have helped me, you know, figure out a couple of questions that might be fitting <laughs> oh, for the segment. Trouble, Are you man. ready for this? Yes, go. Are you ready for this? Let's Let me hear some noise. Are we ready right. for this? <laughs> so, so, so let's start easy. Let's okay. start easy. So I hear that um, fact or fiction, the way this show, this part of the show works is that I ask a question, please don't respond. I'm going to ask the guys if they think it's a fact or fiction. Rob, you stay out of it because you came up with these. So. Not that I'm pointing fingers here or anything. Okay. So we're going to dive yeah. right in. First first one, fact or fiction. Once they say, depending on the winner, I would like to know if, the, if that's true or not. Did you play qu uh, quarterback for your high school? Um, fact or fiction? What do you guys think? Definitely. I think fiction. I think he played tennis. Fact. Yeah, I'm, I think big man on campus, but I think more likely the place kicker. Okay. <laughs> Lace is out. Place holder. Okay, place holder. <laughs> place holder. Okay, right. quarterback high school, fact or fiction? Uh, five foot four, 115 pounds, backup quarterback. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that Thank was right. you. And Mayor? Well right on. And it well, wasn't, tell them tell 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 the record you still hold I led the high team, school. I led the team in fumbles. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That. We love that. Well, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hurt me. All right. So now, that now, was the easy one. now we're going to go into more fun ones, and this one's interesting. So I've heard that this might actually be a fact. I'm curious to know. 
Do you make your children still call you Mr. President Pro Temp at home? <laughs> <laughs> Is that fact or fiction? No, Don't fact. answer yet. What do we what fact. do we think? What do we think? Very much fact. a fiction. Fact. <laughs> Fiction, come on. Fact? No, no I don't really believe the humble guy. I don't think so. Fiction. It's, it's your honor. So, so what is it? <laughs> so, so which, fact I or used fiction? To, yeah, of course, it's. It's fiction, but I used to joke, I used to say to people when they called me Senator, I go, don't, you know, just call me Daryl. I say, the only people I make me call call me Senator or my kids, and only on the weekends. Oh, well done. All right, now fiction. moving on to my favorite question of the night. Okay. So, so again, this is, this is my favorite one. Okay. So, everybody listen. So, do you secretly hope that President Trump's next nominee for U.S. Supreme Court will be you? Is that an undercover thing that you don't want to admit to? Fact or fiction? Fiction. Fiction. Oh, I think you'd take the appointment. Which is it? <laughs> Anyone can get Factor you know, for the confirmation there now. There is so out of uh, the realm. I, yeah, it would be great fiction because uh, I'm a, I am a, a partisan who believes in the two-party system. I believe that um, Republicans have good ideas, Democrats have good ideas. I find this president offensive, and I would not take his appointment. Say but do you so have? Say it like it is. But do That's you have? The truth. Do you have your what? calendars from high school? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? I do and not. And on that note, <laughs> I do not. On, on, on that note, I want to okay. I want to take take control back here for a second before it gets a little too crazy. We want to toss this right into our break, and I want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you for your time, for your support on the that's, show. That's, that's it. it. That's <laughs> it. I have so much more I've to heard say. You've got places to be. You know? <laughs> Until next time. So we're going to dive into a quick break to thank our sponsors, and then we'll be back to touch on some major propositions that are impacting California. All right. Stay tuned. Good job. Thank you for having me. Woo -woo -woo.